Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Oh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, They're saying that your girl Tay Tay's relationship's a sham. Why is this my girl? <laughs> I thought you were Tay Tay. Isn't that what they're called? I'm not a, no, I'm not. Tay, a, t- are a, they called tights? A Swifty? Swifties. What do you call it? Uh, what's their couple name, though? You know, like Benifer. Oh, uh, Tace? No. <laughs> no. Kels- her, Kelsey? Kelsway? Kels, no. Swells? No. Swellsies? Casey and JoJo. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. Either way. Yeah. Uh, so I don't really know it Taylor It came Swift. out. I don't, I don't really know. know. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen if it was real or not yet. Mm-hmm. That there was like a love contract, essentially, between uh, Kelsey and uh, Taylor Swift. And on September 28th, uh-huh. they are supposed to break up and make a public statement that all of this, they aren't going to say this, essentially, that all of this was a ruse to generate. You know, and and which people thought from the beginning, she's she's gonna make an album about dating an NFL player. The Chiefs got a bunch of Tay Tay, Hey Hey, double champion. Yeah, it was a lot of publicity for that women team. Women loving Taylor Swift in football. Oh, so they're saying is that it was a a publicity stunt? Uh, I mean, no one's saying that, but I mean, people from the beginning thought that. Yeah, I it mean, was a way to get more women to watch football. I'll tell you this much, Jonas, is that it does seem weird to me when I see two famous people dating. Now, look, I do understand that, you know, you date people who you meet at the parties you go to. You date people who who work at the jobs that you work at or whatever. But it does seem weird to me is that if you're a rich person that I I don't know. I don't know. It just seems weird to me is that they're always coupling up with other like famous people. Well, I mean, I, I guess. But I think like if you're famous. You almost have to date other famous people because you're dating like a normie. Like, one, you're going to be your. I mean, your finances are going to be lopsided, which is. I mean, which is fine. People work that out all the time. But it's like you. You're bringing some like normal Joe schmo into like <laughs> the limelight. And, and you think are, they can't handle it or something? They, well, are they not going to be able to handle it? Are they? Bro, gonna, get where out like of celebrities here. already know how to handle that stuff. Get out of here! I'm not buying that. And when it comes down to but it, man, is, they, they, what does so like, Johnny Two Tones at the grocery store have to offer Taylor Swift? Was it, it's, it's, Taylor Swift is just a normal human being, my man. She ain't no different. Oh yeah, who than, travels the world in her private jet? Okay, and does yeah, good. Shows. She has she has like job perks, and she chose to do music, and she does she does incredible things. But she's not any different than you or me. She's she has the same organic makeup as us. You're exactly. Correct. So I'm I can't put a I can't put a human being on a pedestal because they have a, a pedestal because they have a special spectacular talent or if they re- achieved or they've had spectacular fortune in their life or they've achieved spectacular things well, famous I, people have weird views of the world man what's that famous people have weird views of the world i'll give you that but that's that's just like a situational thing that's like poor people have a weird vision of the world as well you know prisoners at the jail have a weird view of how much ramen's worth exactly i mean everybody at your at your rank you know economically or culturally or whatever the hell it is where you live in the country you're going to have a, a obscure view when looking at it from somebody else who's in a completely different position. So, Oddly enough, what's really funny. But we're the, all just humans. The other day, I was on YouTube looking for something, and I found this video where they had this hot girl uh, use this guy. Like, the guy, who, the, the host of the, of the video had a friend, like an average looking dude, like a normal looking guy. And she was like a really, really hot woman. And he was like, do you ever use dating sites? And she's like, no, because mm-hmm. she's like, I just meet people or whatever. And he's like, well, here, my friend's given permission to use his photos and you pretend to be him on a dating site. So you can see what it's like for a normal average guy. And like the guy, they showed the guy, he was, he was an average looking dude. He wasn't hot. He wasn't ugly. And, and like, <laughs> and they kept checking in with her like every, so, and she was just kept going like, What's going on? Why are there no matches? Why are the women not responding to these messages? Like she didn't, she couldn't even conceptualize why, she, why he wasn't getting matches, why the responses weren't coming back, why women were hard to talk to on the app. And it was just kind of fun. It has nothing to do with celebrities, but it's funny because she was like just. And that's what I mean. They have a completely different view. Yeah, oh, she, she yeah. can't even fathom what it's like to be an average guy on a dating oh, site. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, honestly, hot hot women out there, you you don't even know. 
<laughs> you don't. You don't even know. You don't. You don't. I mean, maybe I don't know. I've been told that I'm hot too. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been told you're a hot woman. <laughs> not a hot woman, but I'd probably make a hot woman. Yeah. There was so. one Halloween where I think I was a hot woman. Hey, Either way. There you go. We don't talk about that. So, but, you know, it's. Uh... But, yeah, I don't know, man. Look, I will say is that it would not surprise me if it was. But I have heard is that Travis Kelsey's team is seeking legal action to obviously say is that these things are false. So they claim that they're false, but there's no proof. Taylor Swift has a history of leaving like breadcrumb trails and kind of like subliminals. ARG, she loves a good ARG, altered uh, reality type of game where she'll play like post a little clue and and like a post on Twitter or something, and her friends will kind of like or if her fans will dissect it. So it possibly could be her team kind of saying something. It could be like a a precursor to her releasing another album because when stuff like this comes out, usually it's a publicity stunt in and of yeah. itself. Yeah. Well, they had a supposedly had a document. That's what I'm saying is that it could that could be the part of It's not dude, she's a millionaire. You can create any she could create a birth certificate for you and take <laughs> and take your birth Take, she, Taylor Swift took the Jonah birth away. Yeah, she could. She could make you not exist and like name her child after you or something, and you would just cease to live. Uh, so man. I think she could make a fake document that says her that it's a love contract. Now Jonas from the Crazy Town podcast. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna take all my fame and wealth. I'm just saying, ask Ray J. What happened to Ray J? It's a, it's a deep cut, man. If they get it, they get it. If they don't, they don't. Okay, it's not. Uh, for but no, man. Like I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, but now it screwed up their plan because she's probably like, man, I, <laughs> she's like, plan. I need to stop dating this dude so I could be sad girl and write an album and put it out in October. Uh, and now I can't put the album out until next year because we have to break up. He has to be like cheating on me nah, now or something. I don't buy that. I think that everything we see is uh, is planned. So I'm a big proponent and just like if, if, if it's out, it's out for a reason. So you're saying we have to control our own narrative because they're trying to control the narrative for us. Uh, we have to temper our uh, perspective when we see things like this. It's, it's, I don't know. This just feels a little... I, I don't know. It doesn't feel It gives right. me the ick. Yeah, I don't know. Have we ever seen them, like, I don't know, bang or anything? <laughs> like... You ever seen Tom Hanks bang? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've thought about it. I thought about Tom Hanks banging. <laughs> Why'd you immediately go for him? Were you gonna be jealous if I said, "Yeah, Evan, you"? <laughs> you know I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Where the goat? <laughs> yeah, no, dude. I just figured you always say I love Tom Hanks, so I want to bring him up. But it would not be the first time that two celebrities of, I mean, I would say equal if not near equal popularity especially at the time when they're on like that high from the super bowl double super bowl in search of a three-peat you know like it's the perfect it's the perfect cocktail to make both of their careers skyrocket so it does make sense that they would be a, a what do you an arranged marriage yeah i mean travis kelsey was on a reality show exactly he's got the carny vibes exactly and he had to appeal to white america after dating only sisters for as long as he was <laughs> <laughs> I did hear that about him that he, he he like habitually dated black women all through his life and, until Taylor. Yeah, and I'm not mad. And look, and as look as spokesperson for black people in America, <laughs> I will say is that I don't blame him because I would leave any of y'all black for for <laughs> Taylor Swift. And it's not that's not even. And look, if you're if you're at home right now, you're like whatever. You got your hands on your hip. We're talking about Taylor Swift, all right? Get She's the hell out of here. more money than anybody. Exactly. The she only one I take over Taylor Swift is Oprah, if that has, if that tells you anything. All right. Yeah, I like it. So, I don't know, man. Well, we'll see when they break up in a few weeks. Taylor Swift or Oprah, Jonas, which one? Oh, God. Make a pick, man. Probably Oprah. 2024. Probably Oprah. All right, good choice. Yeah. You know why. Why? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> probably uh, easy to please. I don't know. No, I just I, I feel like uh, why, why? Yeah, go, go if you want to get into it, we can get into no, it. No, it's all the time we have for this episode. episode though. <laughs> yeah, go go to thecrazytown.com. Just subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh yeah.